What's happening everybody, Jay Shockblast here, and you've probably heard the amazing news that is probably dropping tomorrow. That is right, Disney is buying tons of Fox. Uh, not all of it, because the Fox News aspect is going to stay with them, but I don't know. Long story short, the X-Men and Fantastic Four are coming back where they belong into Marvel Comics. What a turn of events. Our national worldwide nightmare is over. Marvel is a full family, basically, again. And uh, we should be super excited. This was a long game, and I understand in the world of LEGO, a lot of people have been very frustrated for a long time. I mean, two straight games, basically, at the lack of X-Men and the lack of Fantastic Four. And you're going to be rewarded very soon. And I don't know if it's going to be with this game, uh, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. But by the time the next game comes out, just know that they've been saving all these amazing characters. And it's going to come full circle. And we're going to start seeing them implemented in the game. So what happens now? We've got DLC that's completely announced across the board for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. And what I want to say right from the start is I unequivocally guarantee that I speak for every single fan of the LEGO Marvel franchise when I say, Dear TT Games, you have our permission to sell us more DLC on top of what you've already announced. I believe that they announced in good faith, not knowing any of this was happening, that we were not, that we were this is what they had to offer okay the season pass is announced we know everything that's in the season pass it has never been unclear what is in the season pass we knew completely that there were four characters packs agents of atlas out of time classic guardians by the way all of which will be officially released next week november 19th so stay tuned for that if you don't have them yet then there's the fourth character pack champions then there were going to be six level packs, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, also probably allegedly out on November on December 19th as well. Uh, then there's the Black Panther, Cloak and Dagger, Infinity War, Ant-Man and Wasp, and Runaways. These were announced well ahead of the game's release. Those are part of the season pass. We as fans accept that, okay? Marvel Games... TT games, y'all need to work together because you know you are getting inundated with people. Where are the X Men? Where are the X Men? Where are the Fantastic Four? Where are the Fantastic Four? Where are the X Men? Everybody wants these characters. Okay, let's all band together right now. This is like an open letter to TT and Marvel Games. Um, we want an X Men pack and a Fantastic Four pack. We do not need voiceovers. We do not need voice acting, okay? If these characters are literally just the characters with no vocal lines whatsoever, every single person will be happy. You do not have to give them to us as a thank you pack, all right? If you guys want X-Men, you need to concede to this. You need to be willing to pay, you know, three, four, five bucks to get a handful of your favorite characters. And here's the hard part, because no matter what they do, people are going to say, well, I wanted that person, or I wanted that person. You know, what they give us is fine, okay? And I'm even going to take a step further. If you want these characters to be available in this game, you have to be willing to concede that they're just going to be brought over from the first game. They're characters that were already in the game. It might even be the exact same costumes, okay? Just to get them in the game, and to be able to enjoy these characters that you know you love, that you know you want to play as, these are the things that we want to see happen. And I feel like it would be a great service and a great show of good faith if they made these characters available. You know, obviously with the Fantastic Four, Silver Surfer, Doctor Doom, boom. Just those six characters alone, put them into a nice little DLC pack, make it three bucks, Okay, we need zero voiceovers. If you want to throw back in Future Foundation uh, Spider Man, I don't think anybody would argue. All right, you put those three or six, seven characters, six or seven characters, which I, that's regardless of Spider Man, I guess. So those six characters in a nice little $3 DLC pack, character pack, I guarantee people would buy it. All right, no voice acting, just literally those characters bringing them into the game. 
then you go ahead and you do an X-Men pack, all right? Just something to get things out there. You just throw in Cyclops, you know, Wolverine, Magneto, uh, Jean Grey, maybe Beast, and Deadpool. Six more characters, okay? And you've got them in the game. Just a nice little two, three dollar packs. You make six extra bucks, all right? Even if they design them from scratch. Now listen, I concede. I don't know anything about game design. I don't know anything about, you know, drawing characters for this game. But I know that I can go to a Russian website and find a million different mods, okay, that people put together that don't have any of the tools that the people at TT Games have. And they can design these things that look, in some cases, better than the characters that TT makes. Sorry, please don't kill me, don't hate me. But they make some amazing characters in the modding community. And they can pump that stuff out pretty quickly. I can't imagine that it would take you know, whoever it is to do the art for 12 characters, we'll say, you know, even 20 characters. I can't imagine it really taking a significant period of time to to do that. I mean, maybe I'm completely wrong and off base, but I don't think I am. So I feel like, you know, we'll, we'll give them two weeks to do it, all right? Two weeks of salary designing these characters uh and you will make it back tenfold because like these these are definitely packs that will sell and again guys look i know everybody loves things for free all right and i know they typically have done thank you packs where there's like six to eight characters when the game is all done and all the characters are released all right we if you want this you have to be willing to concede a little bit of ground. You have to be able to concede that this is not part of the season pass and that th we might have to pay for this. And then maybe we still get that thank you pack. But I feel like at this point, people are taking that for granted and you shouldn't. Now I understand that you, know, you can't really do this, uh, a thank you pack like that. And then all of a sudden just stop doing it. Uh, I feel like that's kind of like a catch 22 situation. But I digress, all right? The ultimate thing that everybody needs to, needs to, needs to consider is that once this deal goes down, we need, you know, Bill Roseman and, and Arthur Parsons to have a nice little conversation. And uh, Bill needs to say, hey, Arthur, um, go ahead and throw Rich Ryder back in the game for Jay Shock Blast. He deserves it. And then he needs to say, let's get some X-Men and Fantastic Four in your game, all right? Like... I know, I know that both of them and, and basically anybody that works for TT Games is just getting blasted with where are the X-Men, where's the X-Men, where's the Fantastic Four. I know and it's not any of them that said we don't want to do it, all right? But I know everybody wants to play as these characters and I want to see this game be successful because I love it. I know I haven't done a quite, quite done a review for it yet and I will soon. Um... I, I just feel like it's the best thing that could possibly happen for everybody involved is to very quickly find a way to release extra DLC packs that are on top of the season pass, not part of the season pass. If you expect this to be part of the season pass, you are wrong and those are false expectations that you should not have. Um, and you need to be willing to just pay a couple bucks for these characters because it's, it's for the better good of everybody, all right? I know that's easy for me to say, but you know what? I bought the game on three platforms, so and that's on top of them giving me a copy of the game. So I'm willing to do those things, and if you want these characters to be in the game, you need to be willing to do the same. Uh, their DLC is always extremely fairly priced, so having a couple of these characters in the game for a couple extra bucks is it really that big of a deal? No, it's really not. So that is what I want to see, what I hope happens. This is my open plea to uh, to Bill Roseman, to Arthur Parsons, to everybody involved at TT Games, to everybody involved in Marvel Games. We've met, we've talked, you guys are awesome. I know that you guys have the fans' best interest at heart. I want to see you guys be successful. So let's get, this would go such a long way to getting the one ounce of negativity that surrounded this game completely out of the picture. And I think it is fair and equitable for everybody involved. So let's get it done, boys. 
and welcome to the MCU very soon, the X-Men and the Fantastic Four. I cannot wait. I hope this announcement really does happen tomorrow. I've been waiting to make this video until it was real because I just, I could not deal with the heartbreak of it just not being real. And then when the same day that they were announcing it could happen, them saying that it had already passed and now here we are on the eve of an announcement on the eve of star wars i can't be more excited hope you guys enjoy the video we'll see you